Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. I am currently getting ready so that I can go to breakfast with my husband and we're going to go do some shopping. You know, the after Christmas sales are always so good. So um, that's what I'm getting ready for. So I'm just going to kind of start really quickly. Um, I've been obsessed with the e.l.f. Coreless Putty Primer. This is so good. My friend April from school actually turned me on to it. Um, and now it's the only primer I really like using. Um, let's see. Where's my foundation? Oh, so I've been using this new foundation. Um, well, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. It's the Conceal and Perfect by Milani in the um, 00BB. Uh, it's a Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. It's very similar to the Clinique foundation, but it's like $15 cheaper. So that's what I've been using lately because beauty on a budget is where it's at, especially because makeup is so expensive. I have to replace it every month. I wish I could play music in the background. Like, I mean, I know I could put random songs, but I can't put any good music because it's all copyright, copywritten, copyright, writ, yeah, copywritten. Um, so it makes it really hard to want to listen to music in the background of my videos. Oh. I love this foundation because I didn't. I put like I think two pumps total on my hand, and um, I don't need to get any more. Sorry if I'm looking to the side. It's because I'm looking at my little um, screen so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's that for the foundation. Um, after my foundation, I was for a while doing um, my contour immediately, but I kind of want to start doing my eyebrows right after so that as soon as my eyebrows are done, I can do my foundation or my concealer and, con uh, and contour. And it makes it easier for me so that I can actually do my makeup really well and it won't have the concealer or contour sitting on my skin for too long. This is just the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil. I'm just doing very simple brows today. I'm not doing anything. This is just to fill them in. I'm not doing anything too particular because we're not going out anywhere fancy. We're just, um, I got some gift cards for Christmas, so. We're just gonna, I'm going to conceal it because that's a thick brow. I need to get a new um, brow brush because I prefer to do pomades over the pencil, but I don't have a brush for my pomade. So and I was using a little, um, it was the Tattoo Studio Fix from Maybelline, um, but I didn't really like that using that as a brush because it added a lot of product between the tattoo eyebrow product and the pomade of whatever I was using um, it just made it really thick And I know um, a couple people were requesting that I do the eyebrow tutorial, so I think I'm going to film that tomorrow. 
um, because I know, like, my Aunt Sophie was really wanting to see that. I know a lot of people that could benefit from seeing the eyebrow tutorial. Um, not that they don't know how to do eyebrow makeup, but maybe they just want some more tips and tricks for filling in and um, creating your brow. Mine are just... I do them so quickly now because I've done them for so long that it's just... By the way, um, I don't know if I told you guys about this one. I pre I'm pretty sure I didn't because I just got back. So this sponge is actually just this big. It's the, L uh, the Real Techniques Body Sponge. I love this. It doesn't absorb my product. I like it because I have a wider face. So it's not for somebody who has a very slim face. Um, this is for somebody who has a little bit of a wider face and doesn't want to use a smaller sponge because it, it does take a little bit of time to blend out with a smaller sponge. So I personally like the wider sponge. And my husband did get me a couple of these for Christmas, so I was very thankful for that. Okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of the concealer under my eye because <laughs> your girl never sleeps. So I gotta pretend like I get well rested and put some highlight on my face. And then I'm going to go in with my hard candy. This is actually a foundation stick. It's not a contour stick. But I'm light enough that I can actually use the contour stick or the foundation stick as a contour stick. So it makes my life easier. Hard candy is one of the very, um, I don't know if it's well known or if it's not. I personally knew about it, but I always kind of think of it as, like, makeup for kids. Um, I know that it's not, but it just kind of has that, like, childlike aesthetic. And um, so I never really thought of using it, but I, I do makeup for photo shoots. And I got it for a photo shoot because I had a couple different faces to do, and I wanted to get something that I could just easily clean up, uh, and I don't have to worry about it. And so that was the contour, the foundation stick from Hard Candy. And then I love that it applied so flawless on the ladies' faces I was doing. So I ended up getting one for myself. And uh, I didn't really like the full, full foundation uh, that I was doing with it. Because I just don't personally like a stick. I'd rather have a cream. Um, but I did like it for the contour. And it, that's how I do my cream contour. So now that I've blended this out, and keep in mind it is going to get a little bit lighter. Um, I know it kind of looks really bronzy right now, but once I add the powder on top, it does definitely get lighter. So I'm going to spray my sponge a little bit with just this setting spray I got from my sister-in-law for Christmas. It's a peach setting spray, and it smells so good. It's from Beauty Creations. Um, I love that brand. It's a great dupe brand I get a, I have a lot of the little glitters for the eyeshadows from them and they're really great so um, the fact that they came out with a setting spray that I did not even know that they came out with was really nice so I was really happy to get that for Christmas so I wanted just a little bit and I'm just squeezing it so the wet can, or the spray can go all the way through and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blend in a little bit because I feel like it wasn't blending as well because it was dry from yesterday when I used this with the powder so it's just going to help seamlessly blend in that contour a little bit more. And plus it'll help too when we go to um, get the powder onto the beauty blender. It'll take more powder. Because now it's a little, very, very little of wet on there. So I'm using the Cody Airspun in the translucent extra coverage. I like this one because if you have a medium coverage foundation it does add a little bit more coverage for that um, plus it's really good like if you're somebody like me who wears glasses um, around the nose area I know you guys all know like you get the little spots 
from your glasses, this will help protect. I mean, it's not perfect. It, you still get them, but it's definitely a better option than just regular powder. So I just press this in just like this. Really easy. I'm not doing a very full beat face today. I'm going to do a little bit of an eyeshadow look, but I'm probably, I'm going to do one eye and then I'm going to speed through the other one. It's just a very easy going video. I am going to do a shopping video today, so um, I got some gift cards. I'm going to film while I shop and then I'm going to come back and put something out for you guys. Oh, so you guys can see what I got. I'm hoping they have good deals. I know like after Christmas they normally have pretty good deals because everything's going on sale. All the gift sets and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping that they have that this time. Because that would be pretty cool. Okay. That's the only thing I don't like about Cody Airspun is it gets everywhere. Okay, so now I got this contour palette from Target a couple months ago, like maybe a month ago. Um, I really, really like this palette. It's really nice. It has two contour shades, a setting powder, and then two different types of highlight. One that's like really shimmery. I don't know if you can see that. And then one that's kind of very muted. It's not super, super bright. So I normally go in with the darkest shade because even the darkest shade is really not that dark. Um, but I like it more for my contour. I'm just going to blend it out. I start closer to my ear. And then as I get up here, I go really, really light. And I go deeper up here, really, really light. And then I go really close to my head, my hairline, which thank you to my sister-in-law, Daisy. Um, her and her boyfriend, she's also the one that got me the setting spray. Her and her boyfriend got me this really cute little cat ears headband because they know I always get foundation on my hair. And um, when I had blonde hair, it wasn't such a big deal, but being a redhead, <laughs> not cute to get your white foundation. Alrighty. Okay. So that's my contour. I'm going to add a little bit of blush, and then I'm going to do a really quick eyeshadow look, just something very simple. Oh, it's still powder. That's always a boy where I look so white under my eyes. Okay. For my eyeshadow, I am going to use this Golden Twilight. My aunt got me this eyeshadow palette for Christmas. I was very excited about it. It is from BH Cosmetics. They have quite a few different colors in here, and I'm thinking I'm going to do something with this brown and maybe something with this green and this purple. A little bit of a different look, but I'm very excited to see what comes out of it. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to start off just by getting this top brown shade and patting it onto my eye. The one thing I do like about BH Cosmetics is in every palette, even the ones that have like bold colors, you have some type of nude to start your look off with. So that's always really, really nice. Um, so you don't have to reach for another palette 
if you're traveling, you don't have to worry about having too many pallets or you always have something to kind of neutralize your eyelid. So it's always really nice. Okay. Now that that's on, I'm going to go in with a blending brush. This has a little bit of brown on it, but that's okay because I'm going to try and keep it a little more neutral. And I'm going to go in with this purpley shade. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Just on the outer corners. And I'm going to blend it out. Okay, so you can kind of see it's a little of the um, sharp. So I'm going back in with that same brush where I got the nude. I like this one because it's a flat head. So I can actually blend out better with this one. The other one's better if I'm doing like a full eye look, not really for the outer corner eye looks. Um, but I like that actually. Like that's really pretty. So now that I have that purple shade applied, and it's very light, like I'm not trying to do something super bold, super dark. Um, so now that I have that purple shade applied, I'm going to get a small little smudger brush like this. Um, and this one does have a little bit of purple on it, but that's okay because I'm going to take some of that purple and I'm going to smudge it under my eye. Just like so. Okay, now that I have the purple under my eye, I'm going to go back in with that same smudger brush into that green, almost like an emerald shimmer shade. can't really see how uh, green it is here, but it is pretty green and I like it a lot. I'm going to go in with that and just do that on the outer corner of underneath my eye. I really like that. I love doing eyeshadow under the eye because it kind of makes it a little more like... People are going to pay attention when they see it because it's a different type of look and it makes it a little more dramatic also and I kind of like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I did do a little bit too much so I just get a plain brush and I could either go back in with this nude color that I applied to my eyelid at first and blend that out. I like that a lot, okay. So I'm gonna do my mascara really quick and then we're gonna get right into lipstick. So now I'm going to get this Clinique Pop Liquid Shadow. I love it because it goes on and it's immediately dry. It's not something you have to wait to set down. So I'm just going to put that on my lip.
I'm just going to finish this look off with a little bit of setting spray. And that's it. So this is my look for the day. Um, I am going to be doing a shopping video later, so you'll be able to see me and my husband as we go shopping with all the gift cards that we got for Christmas. And then I will do a haul video so that way you guys can see firsthand what I got and what I plan to do with it. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow, um, subscribe, share, and click your post notifications down below so that way you can get notified anytime I post a new video. And if you have any recommendations or requests for a video, please comment down below. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Bye!